Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program. Target Individual Experience. So, I got in the house, okay, and the, it, let me show you, tell you guys how they have me on the heavy surveillance plus remote load monitoring. So, remember I built a computer months back, um, it's a budget PC, had some of the parts had to, you know, I think I ordered a new, um, motherboard and there was a case gives like 30 something dollars but anyway so same guy you know one um i said hey you know i've been seeing you since christmas yeah you know i still you christmas and then you know told you hold on and you left and it came back so i'm two months later then today early on my bell rang so i'm like okay i didn't really i kind of looked to the people i didn't really see who it was i saw somebody was maybe delivering something so i said okay fine delivery anyhow but it wasn't, right? Yeah, they just left to ring the doorbell. Again, they do the same thing when I'm by Pam. Sometimes they'll ring the bell, all right? But um, last night when I got home, I was playing with my uh, grand nephew. And, you know, he just started um, coming to me and tapping, touching me and saying, I tag you, I tag you, I tag you, I tag you. Now, you know, kids will play games and stuff like that, right? So that was early when I got home. But then around, it was a little after 12, I think, uh, he came into my bedroom because I had the, the door, you know, unlocked. And he just comes and he says, like, I tag you, I tag you, I tag you, I tag you. And I'm like, Jace. And then I realized what was happening, that they had hijacked his consciousness. So I just him to go to bed. So uh, today, just a little while ago after I came up from the store, um, got in the house, right? First, first, I saw the guy when I gave him the computer. And then there were... Uh, a, a couple older white man with a young uh black girl right yeah, early 20s this guy probably like you know close to 40. you know talk about this how you know in a black community if a if a black man that age is dating a young 20 something year old black woman black women don't like that shit. they don't like that shit at all they they will um you know, talk bad about this man, this and that. But if it's an older white man with a younger black female, they're like, hey, girl, you know, he got money and this and all this stuff, right? This is how this is how corrupt their mindset is, particularly when it comes to black men and how they view black men. But anyhow, you know, gave him the computer, uh, came back in. And of course, he was he was, he was trying to target me because he was like, what kind of keyboard should I get? And as he's, um, you know, pointing, he, I guess he was on Amazon, and he was pointing on the keyboard because, you know, they don't want me to shop at Amazon or have you, right? because they don't want me to buy anything, period. You know, now mind you that they are white people who are on disabilities. They they bought cars, you know, they bought all this other stuff, right? But me, I can't buy my little hobby that I like to do, what have you, right? Anyway, so, uh, you know, I just I just think it's just bullshit because it's just, again, as a black person uh, and how I'm targeted and my brother's target is very repressive and it's very racist, right? So anyhow, came back in the house, I went, went into the kitchen he came, my grandnephew now, he's four years old, he came up to me and he literally touched my, you know, private part, right? And I just, I told him, I said, come here. And I gave him two smack on his behind. I said, don't you ever do that again, right? Now, I know it's not his fault, right? But he's, you know, again, he's being directed to do those things. His, his mind has been hijacked. But I have to make him understand that don't do it. So if, when they projecting these things in his head he won't do it his conscious mind will come will take over and be like nope i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do it this is what i have to learn um while being a ti right and I, whenever i talk to my kids i tell them the same thing too i said there are technology out there that is being used to manipulate our minds so i want you to always think twice before you do anything and always ask yourself if i do this am i going to benefit from it or is it something that's going to harm me or the people around me and again, this is how we have to raise our kids, particularly in the black community, because of what's being done to us, right? So, um, you know, as I said, let me do this quick video because I'm actually watching a movie. I hear, oh, I'm watching a movie, it's called The Bricklayer, right? It's on Netflix. And it's about how, you know, I'll talk about how they use movies, television shows to either tell you what's coming on the pipeline, but most people don't know, right? They're not um, awakened to understand these things. And so, um, 
this movie's about uh, somebody who's trying to frame the CIA. So not yet. They're trying to frame the CIA now, right? Now, the CIA has done enough framing of other people. Now they're trying to ch flip the script like they always do. All right? So it just goes to tell you how the propaganda that, right, that they do in these movies, right? <laughs> so I'm just looking at them just like, wow. You know? They are really, really trying to create this new perception that because again with all what's going on right particularly with the diplomats being hit with the right to energy weapons and they're talking about oh it's foreign it's not it's not no foreign country no foreign agent it is our own government that's doing this okay and they have reasons for doing this right these are the same people who who the same government i should say same government who knew about the attack on 9 11 and did nothing right sort of like what Benjamin Netanyahu did in Israel they knew they knew that there was going to be an attack and I was watching an interview with um I forget the guy's name but uh even uh it was um Morning Joe Morning Joe with Joe and um Mika where he said that Benjamin Netanyahu had the opportunity to stop Hamas uh f money given to Hamas and he said no let them have it okay so like I said these things are perpetrated and they are planned okay they're perpetrated and they are planned all right we're talking about like i said we're talking about wicked people evil people the dark track personality types and what they want they want to take over palestine so they want to create a, a, a larger state of israel right while driving the palestinians out of that country out of their country that's what this is about all right make no mistakes about it and there's also a check on Arab nations because the Arab nations, they're not doing anything except for Iran, right? And a few, what do you call these um, other fighters in, from Syria or what have you. But for the most part, those Arab countries, other those leaders, Egypt, um, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, all these wealthy, right, Arab countries, they are sitting by and watch their their fellow Arab human beings being decimated, right? Basically, Israel is committing genocide, and they're not doing a damn thing. Okay. So again, I was told I was I was talking to this guys in the in the bodega. I said, you know, I said religion is used by the powerful to indoctrinate. To indoctrinate the minds of the people, right? And they don't do shit for the people, but you're all so into in love with that with that damn religion. And right now, it's showing you that your God Allah ain't shit compared to what the God of the uh, Jewish people, right? Those European Jews, okay? So when they want to talk about it, it's the same God, it's the same God. How could it be the same God? Hmm? And if it's the same God, then why the hell are you still worshiping that God? Who's telling these people that? to decimate you guys I mean, it, it, you know like I said it doesn't make sense but you know when you come out of that religious way of thinking when you you have an awakened mind you begin to see things much deeper right than just looking at the surface when you're indoctrinated religion you just look at things on the surface you have no way of thinking deeply or analyzing things in a critical logical manner because it's because it's beliefs right so again I just want this to just understand you guys know technology is being used technology to manipulate the minds of the people right and it's not just uh it, the psychological manipulation but it's technology using radio and wild and microwave frequencies right to control our minds talk to you guys in the next video